Halt! What's this sick trick? That would have been pretty cool if it landed. Not really. Bow! Wacky random. That's entertaining, right? I'm so wacky. Yeah. Baka. Ooh, ooh. Hey. Manga two, ooh, ooh, day. Hey there. Welcome back to Manga Tuesday, episode 148. I am the Notorious One, and today we shall be reviewing Kyuko Chan, the Earth Invader Girl. Kyuko Chan. It is created by the same person that created Fully Cooly. Uh, it's only two volumes long, it's a short series, and it fucking sucks. It's genuinely shit. It's probably the worst manga I've ever read, and by probably I mean most definitely. The only reason I bought it in the first place is because I wanted to have a manga for every letter of the alphabet, and I needed one for Q. And, you know, it, it, the cover looks nice enough. Only two volumes. I've heard great things about Fooly Cooly. I've never actually watched... I've never actually bothered getting around to watching Fooly Cooly myself. But I've heard good things about it, so, you know. But no, I was very much disappointed with this. It is largely incomprehensible garbage. There is really not much of a story at all, and the story that is there is confusing and just filled with meaningless, meaningless jargon and just it just goes from one thing to the next like it's nothing and you know, sort of like this review uh you know the artwork would be considered uh endearing if the series was good it'd be like mm, it's it's its own unique little art style there but in reality the art is pretty terrible it makes the nonsensical story even harder to follow at times and it's just not very good i might be being a little harsh on the on the artwork there are at times it's very basic and it does have it's very stylized well but there are panels that do look quite nice and I, I do think if this if the story of the series itself was actually good the art style wouldn't really be a problem it might even be a a point of intrigue but you know in reality it the art is nothing just definitely certainly nothing to write home about but you know it has its moments but the story doesn't the story just just meanders along into mediocrity the whole time it's just confusing babbling nonsense it's like what the fuck is even happening and when you're able to wrap your head around what's happening and it's like why do i care about any of these characters why do i care about this story it's just like things are just happening for the sake of happening it's it's just it's 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 a it's a chore to get through i read this first volume months ago and i only just recently read the second one because i had already bought the two yeah i kept putting off finishing it because it was just like, oh my god, it was such a slog, a chore to get through. It's just like, what the fuck has even happened? What the fuck is all this babbling nonsense? And it's not like there's, it's not very, it's not like it's uh, a lot of babbling, like it's super verbose. It's just, what the fuck is even happening and who gives a fuck about any of this shit? It's, it, it's an illogical mess and, and it, and it's such a chore to get through. You just want to sort of skim through it, but then you get even more lost. But, you know, when you, when you focus, and you're like, okay, let's, let's, let's pay attention. What's actually going down here? What's, what's going on? Let's, let's figure out this story. Uh, what's, 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 what's cooking here? Uh, it turns out what's cooking is shit anyway. It's just shit, and it's just rushed, and it's just largely incomprehensible, and just... Just... I, I don't know the words to describe how I feel about it. So, I'm actually just changing my mind. I'm not going to do a review on it. Because I can't properly and accurately put into words how bad this manga is and how big of a waste of time it is. I would describe the plot to you, but the plot is largely just stupid and just random shit. Doesn't even matter. Look, watching this review for five minutes was a waste of your time. Yes, I understand that. But if it saves you the hour or so it would take you to read all this whole manga 
It was worth it. Don't even bother. It's not even worth it just to see. Just just read the first couple of chapters, okay? If you're, if you're that intrigued, if you're that interested, read the first couple of chapters online and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll be like, what the, f what the fuck even is this? Like, what, what the fuck <coughs> even is this? And who cares? Uh, no one cares. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, Zero out of ten. Oh my god. The first time in history? I have no idea. I'm genuinely... I'm... G I'm generally pretty, uh... Pretty easily pleased when it comes to anything. But, you know, there's lots of mangas that I like that are mediocre. And there's not many that I hate. And even the one... Most of the manga that I do hate, I see some positives in them. And I'm, I've never been too harsh on them. You know, I, if there's one thing that you know from watching Manga Tuesday, it's that I'm always, I'm never negative. I love One Piece. I love Naruto. I, I love all mangas equally. Just, um, I love some mangas more equally than others. Like Fairy Tale is obviously a step above all of them. Um, I, I'm not very negative. Uh, Blade of the Immortal just happens to suck. But this, this takes the cake. And by cake, I mean this takes the ball of shit. This is like the worst, the worst manga of all time. And it really makes me question, is, is Fully Cooly really that good? I haven't watched it. I bought it on Blu-ray, but I haven't watched it because anime is stupid. Why would I waste time watching anime? It's fucking gay. So, but it makes me wonder, maybe all the new people that praise Fully Cooly are just stupid, actually. Maybe Fully Cooly actually just sucks. And you people are just idiots. Maybe you just hear some flashy music you like and a and an attractive uh, alien uh, pedophile and you're all like, whoa, wowzers! Brrr, gee willikers, Fully Cooly's epic. I love this series. Brrr, but actually you're all fucking morons and Fully Cooly sucks. Maybe just as much as Kuko Chan. Maybe that's maybe that's the truth of the matter. I can't speak on it because I wouldn't waste my time watching Fully Cooly. I waste my time reading Kuko Chan so you don't have to. It's a sac. I'm basically Jesus, sac sacrificing my own t sacrificing my own time to save you. I'm a savior of men and women. And in cells, I am a martyr or something. Uh, didn't I give a rating like 10 minutes ago? What are we even do? Why is this episode still persisting? You may ask yourself. Uh, because I like... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I had some more concrete... Uh, critiques. What was, what was I, how was I going to word it? How was I going to word it in my head that sounded so good that I could do an episode on it? It's, it's just bad. You can't get reviews. You can't get in-depth critiques like that from any old manga tuber because they don't even do reviews, okay? These other manga tubers, they just like do hauls. They're like, hey, look, I wasted a bunch of money. I'm very fiscally irresponsible. I bought a shitty rare manga, the singles of some rare manga that's actually shit anyway, even though there's an omnibus version out now for much more reasonable price. Look at me. I'm some, uh, I'm so epic. <laughs> Fuck you. You people, you, they're the type of people that say how great Fooly Cooly is. Just because Cooly's, you know what? Bray Wyatt's dead and it's your fault. Uh, fuck you. Um, Kuko Chan genuinely, genuinely is trash. Worst manga I've ever read. Complete waste of time. And trust me, I know all about wastes of time. I know all about time wasting. Okay? So trust me when I. I know all about things being terrible. I know all about absolute trash garbage. Okay? So trust me when I tell you. Kuko. Chan, more like Q Kyo sucks. I rest my case. 
Um, I suppose that sums things up. So thanks for watching. As always, I feel like the new one can say now. Louis Sue got me looking like my Jane now. It's just another Tuesday. Worst episode ever! <laughs>